Hello, I am coming at you live from my daughter's bedroom um, and I'm here today to talk to you about cloth diapering. So cloth diapering, I, we started it because it's good for the environment and it saves a lot of money. Those are really our two top reasons for doing cloth diapering. Um, but I love it. I ended up really liking cloth diapering and it's not nearly as intense as I thought it would be. Now, we also haven't traveled a lot with cloth diapering. Um, so I don't really know how, I, I don't have a good experience on that. Um, but I have a good experience um, with cloth diapering at home in general. Um, you know, going to doctor's appointments and um, seeing like close family and stuff. So, um, but what I wanted to share to, with you today were, uh, is, <laughs> sorry, my daughter's right here and she keeps grabbing my attention. Um, but what I wanted to share with you today is the, the different types of cloth diapers that we have, um, which ones <laughs> fell right onto the diapers, um, which ones I like best and how we do nighttime diapers um, because I didn't realize that was a thing, but holy moly, it's so important to have a system for nighttime unless you want to be changing diapers all night um, or if you want to be washing sheets every night. Up to you. But I will link the three different brands that we ended up getting um, Two of the brands we got as gifts and one of them we bought ourselves. Um, and the, it's funny, the one that we ended up buying ourselves is my absolute favorite, which is great because we ended up buying 30 diapers. <laughs> so it's a good thing. We just kind of committed, you know? Okay, so the two types, there's lots and lots and lots of different types of cloth diapers. There's actually kind of like three main ones. Um, but we have two of those, and that is an all-in-one or a pocket. Now, there's other videos out there that um, about explaining all the differences <laughs> between these diapers than, than I do. So I am going to tell you what I have learned about the differences between a pocket diaper and an all-in-one diaper and kind of my uh, experience with them. So we have our three different ones here are Bambino Mio, which is an all-in-one, uh, Mama Koala, which is a pocket diaper, and Alva Baby, which is also a pocket diaper. So um, I'll start with the all-in-ones because I have actually found out that all-in-ones are my least favorite. Um, to be honest, I can't really explain why, but the only difference that I've seen is that the insert, just on Velcro this, I love that these are Velcro. That's like the one thing I love about the Bambino um, diapers is that they're Velcro. That is a huge plus I am noticing, especially as my daughter gets older. But the thing with an all-in-one, is that with, with all cloth diapers, there's a pocket and an insert. And with an all-in-one, the insert is attached. Um, so you just kind of pull that out and toss it in the wash. Um, now, for me, I figure I have to pull it out anyways. Why not just completely detach it? Like it kind of annoys me that it's attached. That's my own little thing. Um, but yeah, so I, Again, I love the fact that these are Velcro though. Um, I wish the other ones are Velcro. So yeah, so then you just kind of shove the lining back in when it's all washed, make sure it's all nice and flat, and then you're good to go. You basically put it on just like a disposable diaper. And there you go. And the nice thing about this one too is that if you have a really small baby, um, you you see that there's on the the flap there's actually another piece of Velcro that you can like really get this tight for like 
um, newborns and, and stuff. Um, so that is the all in one super, super cute, um, little birds as well. Like I love cloth diapers. They're so cute. Okay. The next one is the pocket again, very similar. This is the mama koala ones. They have, um, lots of buttons here for adjusting the length of, um, kind of, I guess the, the inseam, except there's no seam. Um, or the crotch length, I guess, um, which is nice. So as your baby grows, it can get longer. And then there's two buttons uh, that you just kind of fold over and snap. Um, and then as I mentioned, the difference here is that this is the pocket. So the liner comes completely out. Um, and this is kind of an interesting thing with the Mama Koala ones. I'm not 100% sure why. I think it's like this so if you have the shorter um, if you have these buttons closed to make it shorter you can make the insert shorter so it's not sticking out um, so that insert actually can can change size which is kind of nice um, as well so that is that insert and then again you just kind of separate these two when you're washing and then stick them right back in and that's that's that. Um, and then for my favorite one is surprisingly the Alva baby ones. I, I don't know why I said surprisingly. It's, we just, we lucked out with the one that we bought the most of being our favorite. Um, so the Alva baby is a pocket diaper as well. The inserts come completely out. Um, and the difference with this one is that there's actually three buttons on the side or three snaps. Ah, there we go. So you can see we've got two, woo, one, two, one, two. Oh, it's so hard to see when it's so bright. And then this third one is an extra security measure around the leg. Um, I don't truly know if it makes that much of a difference than the Mama Koala ones um, because the Mama Koala ones do get nice and tight around the leg. Um, as is so um, from from my experience it's just kind of a third button to or a third snap to take care of with a really wiggly baby um, which I've got a trick for that <laughs> that I'll show you in a second so overall the inserts are just pretty standard um, you can do microfiber you can do bamboo I ended up doing a lot of research on this because my daughter kept leaking every night and I was washing sheets like two or three times a week um, over the over this past summer and I was like, I need to come up with something. I, I almost resorted to going to disposables overnight just because it was I was so annoyed with it. Um, but luckily I found out that if you get the bamboo liner, which is thicker and slower to absorb, and then you take the microfiber liner, which is thinner and quicker to absorb, put one on top of the other and they both go in the diaper that is the nighttime diaper and guys we have not okay I can't say we have never we've had like so I started doing these nighttime diapers like this when she was about five months old she's now 10 months old and we've had maybe two leaks like it's crazy and awesome so yeah so both of those go in and uh yeah, that's it. The microfiber one's on top, the bamboo one's on the bottom. So the quicker absorbing liner is on top. So my little hack, last thing here, last fun tip, my hack for if you have a really wiggly baby who will not lay down for you to put their diaper on, get your diaper pre-snapped. So you snap the whole thing to where they, they typically have it. We're kind of like in between sizes right now. <laughs> She's not quite, she can't quite do the, the tighter snap. So you have your diaper pre-done and then you literally just have them sit on your lap and then pull it up onto them like it's a pull up or like it's underwear or something. So it's, um, and then you just kind of, 
go into the back pocket once it's on them and just kind of fluff up the liner to make sure it's nice and, and straight because a bunched up liner will leak. So you have to look at user error before you blame the diaper. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is like, oh my gosh, I just figured that out two days ago and it's made diaper changes so much easier because she can stand and she can hold on to things and she's happy. And then instead of just screaming through diaper changes. So that is it. I kind of rambled a lot in this video, but I really wanted to give you just a nice overview of our experience with di uh, cloth diapering. It's been phenomenal. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments if you cloth diaper, if you have any other questions about cloth diapering, or if you have a favorite brand of cloth diaper, because I'm not about, you know, saying that one brand is the best. This is just the one that's worked for us. And I know that there's plenty of people out there who um, love the Mama Koala brand or love the Bambino or all these other amazing brands out there. So let me know your favorite brand of cloth diaper and if you cloth diaper or not and, and all of those things. Just, just let's, let's chat in the comments. So um, yeah, until next time, I'll see you later.